As I said, all that studying for what? Dude, I'm honestly like, I'm so sick of these comments because it's like, I chose to do this. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think you understand. Like, I am like beyond this, I'm well-rounded. I'm educated. Half of the shit that I do is because I choose to do it. So all you out there, I'm probably smarter than you. I've made it this far at 21. Stop the cap. Without a college degree. However the I did it doesn't matter. I bet you if only went away tomorrow, I would still find a way to be successful. Are you sure about that? Do you really think I'm not a good sister? Well, it's not that you're not a good sister. It's just you got to think that your actions don't just have like doesn't affect not just only you, but it also affects me. Man, little boy right there is in one of the worst situations you could possibly think of. And she's talking like she's some entrepreneur and she doesn't she doesn't see how this is affecting her little brother. Like you're come supposed to show me you. love, not be against me. I come on here to tell you the truth. What the fuck are you talking about? What's when the you, truth? So when you leave here to go to Miami, you're living out your life. But yeah, then you I'm just forget you, you just forget whatever happens in North Carolina and what happens to me at school. Like I I get like bullied, but not like bullied, like punched at, but people just say shit and that pisses me off. And like, I just wish that stop because whatever you doing here affects me at North Carolina. Hey, well, if you think I'm not a f***ing entrepreneur, let's go band for band. Band for band? Let's go band for band. I'll buy, I, I'm what gonna, f I bought dad a f***ing car. I'm about to pay off mom's f***ing mortgage. I'll pay for your f***ing college. If you don't think that's a f***ing entrepreneur, then I don't know what the f*** is. I was just using your money. That I make through the business of OnlyFans. Yeah, but it's the business not being an entrepreneur. Whatever, I'm not gonna argue with the 10 year old. <laughs> Got him. First of all, this girl was sat opposite her brother with her legs up flashing the taco, man. What's going on with that? Honestly, I feel bad for him. Like, yeah, he's gonna get bullied forever. And he, he's gonna get the, the bad end of the stick for this. She does not understand that. She has no grasp on how this affects him and she don't care we've seen this before haven't we guys we see these girls call themselves entrepreneurs and they're making all this money she's just pre-ordered a midlife crisis man and of course the comments are defending her you know you got people like this guy bro lucky to have a sister like you like stop it get some help what would you do if i wanted to start an only do you think yeah, you're selling yourself, isn't it? Well, yeah, I agree, but it's quite normalised, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, it's mad that everything, like, that's normal, isn't it? Yeah, it's mental. Like, I don't want to call it normal. Women can go out on a date now and be like, oh yeah, I do OnlyFans. And they're like, oh yeah, great, good for you. That's a horrible industry, though, man. I can't it's, lie. Yeah, it's very That's what's industry. messed up all of us, I think. Why would you even post this, man? I mean, this girl's a certified donut, mate. And she's just right back where she belongs, man. She belongs to the streets. What do you think is the one thing men deserve admiration for? Um, for providing us with money. What did that just mean? Just that? Well, that's like a sugar daddy. No, I'm just kidding. I like your dog, though. Sugar daddy? I am okay, what, what, what? He's a sugar daddy. <laughs> Wait, what about you? Come back, man, you dude. What do you think men deserve admiration for? I agree with her statement. Damn. I see why no one dates Miami girls. It's a uh, joke. It's a joke. Let's just look at this. Okay. She belongs to the streets. Anybody else realize that children born in 2023 potentially live to see the year 3000? These people are allowed to vote, man. I wouldn't even trust this girl to make me beans on toast. All right, Karen just asked me a crazy ass question. What'd you say? It's so long. Say Can it I again. The question? I don't even know what the question was. Say it again. I said. That are you sure that you really love me for me, that you find me attractive, you love me for everything in my personality, not just because you've been with me forever, and not because we're in the social media eye and everybody's around us and seeing us and they love us together because I love us together. But I really want to know that you wouldn't really cheat on me because, you know, there's so many people that are looking at us that know oh, you would cheat on me if we didn't have, like, the social media part with you because if you would cheat on me, I need to know that because I need to know that you actually really love me and this is just not social media. Like, you actually fuck me, you wake up every morning, you say, like, oh my god, this is a perfect girl for me, I love this girl, she's everything to me. Like, I just want to know if you actually really love me and it's not just me. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck. Did you see this? Look at this. That girl was reading the terms and conditions right there. She was reading that like she was doing an Eminem freestyle. She didn't miss a beat there. But nah, man. 
right. That's a red flag right there, bro. Good luck. Y'all doing too much. This hypothetical question about this bear versus man in the forest is about to get a lot of y'all feelings hurt. Some of y'all women, you're doing too much. You are the bear in the forest. You need to be scared of yourself. At the end of the day, a lot of y'all are running around acting like you so scared of men, acting as if you fear for your life on a day-to-day -day basis. Girl, men don't even pay you no mind on a day-to-day -day basis. You go to the mall, they ignore you. You go to the store, they ignore you. You go to the club and the lounges with your homegirls and they talk to everybody but you. Men ain't worried about you. You could be in the forest with a bear and a man and you got a better chance of the bear wanting to smash. Dang. Early this year, I came out as gay to my husband, uh, soon to be ex, and he had the sweetest and most amazing reaction, and this is what he said, what did you say? I said that I was so proud of you, and that was the greatest thing I've seen that anyone do. And now we are going our own separate ways, and we're about to put this house on the market, and that's all she wrote. You like my ex-husband. Be that good of a person. This is the worst. Listen, let me tell you, she was just secure in the bag. And this guy, man, is simp of the year. Could be top three of all time. And it's probably all a bunch of BS anyway. She's just probably met another bloke. She wants 50% of his stuff and she's out of town. As a high value man, if she wants a ring with a diamond, she better have an unbroken hymen. She better have an unbroken hymen, you get it? Because I'm a high value man. Why would I settle for less? And speaking of rings, I ain't doing husband things until there's one on my finger. Until there's one on my finger. Kings, we don't like broke bitches either. She ain't trying to pay for the date. There's no way we can even conversate. There's no way we can even conversate. What do you mean? What do I bring to the table? I am the table. I am the table. You get it? Period. Like, don't get it twisted. I'm a strong, independent man. <laughs> Got him. It sounds stupid, doesn't it? And he's literally saying exactly what these modern women are saying and demanding. And the comments are hilarious. Loads of girls saying, this is ridiculous, he's toxic or whatever. This is literally how you chicks be sounding these days. Aren't you gonna open the door for me? Yeah, I was literally just about to. As you should. Uh, I think I left something on the seat. One second. I just gotta move it for you. I don't want you to sit on it. Okay. That's called blood. If, if you had a boyfriend and he was regularly going to the club without you, you wouldn't see that as a red red flag? Okay, if he was going to the club without me and I wasn't there, for example, I'm like living in another state, in another city or something, but like, if we're in the same place together and we're not going out together, like that's a red flag, but other than that, I'm like, live your life. <laughs> I'll speak for myself on this one. Like, so, okay, I don't go to bars, I don't go to clubs, I don't go to parties. I don't want, a, like, if I'm gonna take a girl seriously, I don't want her going to bars, clubs, and parties. Same. Just be, one, it's a commonality thing, but also, two, when women go to bars and clubs, that's how you flirt. You just, sh that's how women flirt, is by showing up, just being there. So it's basically infidelity. It's one of the biggest red flags. Okay, I don't really? see it that way at all. Mm -hmm. so. Really? That's, yeah. that's very that's interesting. Like just, I mean, why, why is it interesting? I think that's interesting because me as a female who, you know, I like to go out. I get out maybe like once or twice a year, but I, mean, <laughs> I like to go out. When I go out, I'm not going out looking for a guy. Yeah. I'm not going exactly. out looking to flirt. I want to dance. That's what girls say. Time. You'll hear this is the most common thing they say. When I go out, I'm not looking for a guy. They don't understand that you going out and putting yourself in the position to be hit on is disrespectful and you shouldn't be doing that i'm pretty sure if you asked any girl they wouldn't be happy with their guy going to the strip club it's because they don't want their guys getting attention and that's why we don't want you going to clubs getting hit on by guys because if you go to the club wearing a skimpy dress guys are going to assume you're single and they're going to hit on you regardless if you feel like a girl might be a crazy train wreck that will ruin your life Get a name tattooed on you. Be a man. <laughs> All right, guys, today's daily quote is, the more you do for women, the more they lose attraction and respect for you. It's important to be able to say no to them. Treat them well, but never put them on a pedal stool.
That's very true. Stop bending over backwards for women. Respect is earned, not given. Have a blessed day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.